This is a continuation of the Pythagorean theorem. Here we will determine if you have a right triangle, obtuse triangle, or acute triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem, again, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If that is true, then you have a right triangle. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to determine what type of triangle you have by using the side lengths. So if a squared plus b squared equals c squared is true, you have a right triangle. If a squared plus b squared is bigger than c squared, then you have an acute triangle. And if a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then you have an obtuse triangle. Here you should pause the video and write this down and put it in your notes. Now let's do some example problems. We have a triangle with side lengths 6, 11, and 14, and I want to know is it acute, obtuse, or right? So we need to apply Pythagorean's theorem. A and B will always be the smallest sides, so A, B, and this will be C. Now we have to square each side, so we're going to have 6 squared plus 11 squared, 14 squared. Now, notice I'm not putting equal because I do not know if they're equal. I need to find out what side is bigger. So we have 36 plus 121, 196. 36 plus 121 is 157, 196. Now, 157 is less than 196, so therefore we have an obtuse triangle. Example two, we have triangle with side lengths seven, eight, and nine. I wanna know if it's acute, obtuse, or right. First thing we have to do is label our two smallest sides, A and B, with the largest side being C. Now we do C squared plus 8 squared, 9 squared, and evaluate. Now we have 49 plus 64 is 113. And it is indeed bigger than 81. So if it's greater than, we have an acute triangle. And that concludes the short lesson on using Pythagorean's theorem to determine acute, right, or obtuse triangle. And you have to remember A and B are your smallest sides, and C is your biggest side. If you have any questions, please send me an email or come after school.